Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how microbes could power astronauts' return to Earth. On Mars, scientists have devised a method for producing rocket fuel that may be used by future astronauts to return to Earth. Carbon dioxide, sunshine, and frozen water, all resources native to Mars, might be combined with two types of bacteria that would need to be brought by way of a preliminary trip, according to Georgia Institute of Technology researchers. When exposed to sunlight, cyanobacteria, algae, would consume carbon dioxide from Mars' atmosphere to produce sugars, which would then be converted into propellant by a modified icod lie bacterium. On Earth, this propellant, known as 2,3-butanediol, is now in use. It's used to produce rubber polymers. The rockets that will leave Mars will be powered by methane and liquid oxygen, neither of which are native to Mars. As a result, they would have to be carried to Mars at significant cost and risk. The cost of transporting 30 tons of methane and liquid oxygen is projected to be over $8 billion. The method is described in a research published in the journal Nature Communications, titled Designing the Bioproduction of Martian Rocket Propellant via a Biotechnology-Enabled in Situ Resource Utilization Strategy. Methane and liquid oxygen are being envisaged as fuels for rocket engines launching from Mars, LOX. Both aren't found on Mars, so they'd have to be carried from Earth to power a return spaceship into Martian orbit. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.